I like this blanket a lot. It's worn in, but not worn out. And it's also pink. I'm not real fond of it. Color. And what we're going to do is use some dye. Ooh. Isn't that neat? Look at that. Kind of reminds me of those horror movies where the darkness spreads. Ooh. Now to soak the blanket for a while. Well, I have uh, the blanket in cold water washed down in the washing machine. It's not going to be dark blue or anything. Hopefully it'll just be a light lavender or something. That, that's okay with me. And while I was thinking of it, I'm, what shall I have for supper? I have an eggplant uh, that I chopped up in slices here. I had them in a bowl of water. You let them sit in the bowl of water for a little bit. 5-10 minutes, then you drain the water off. The water gets kind of a gray-brown color. It's leaching out any of the stuff around the seeds. These weird things. Little tiny seeds in a row. I know they look like worms or something, but they're just little seeds. Then I put them on this towel. I salted them a little bit. Put them on this towel. I'm trying to make sure all the water's out. Because what I'm going to do, over here I've got eggs, and here I have flour and breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese, the shaker kind. And I'll put some olive oil in there, fry them up, and make little fried eggplant pieces. Then they'll go into a casserole with uh, spaghetti sauce and cheese, and then cooked, baked, and that'll be dinner. I have olive oil in the pan and I just put a drop of water in there. Whoa. So it's hot enough. Piece of zucchini and put it in the dry stuff. Not zucchini. Well you can do it with zucchini too. And I put it in the egg wash. Back into the breading. And in the pan. I'll do that with the whole eggplant. Some people don't don't bread it like this. Sometimes some people just dip it in egg and put it in the in the hot oil. It's gonna take a while, maybe at least three minutes. an earworm. In other words, there's a song that's been going over and over in my head and I think it's from the 1920s. I was listening to 1920s music the other day, but I don't know. But it's a nice little tune and I keep humming it in my head. Where goes the phone? The pan's smoking because a lot of the breading stayed behind and it's burning. Put, it, put your leftover egg, the leftover whatever mix, coating mix. Now these will be without the plastic. Yeah. So, oh, good idea. Oh, yeah. These 
never did the snare pan. Now comes the assembly. Didn't mean to put that much, but that it'll be okay. So when we start putting the pieces in here, we fill it all in. We got a little guy. Here's a little guy. On this, we put a little more sauce. It's kind of like lasagna. You put your layers in there. And I'll put cheese on it. I use mozzarella cheese and Parmesan cheese. I have very few cheeses that I can handle. Okay. Load it up again. Just put a whole bunch in there. Fill it up. Fill her up, boys. Okay. That's the, the egg with the breadcrumbs mix. Makes little patties like that. This is basically melted. I'm going to turn the convection oven part on just to brown it just a little bit. While we're waiting for that to brown, I put my sponges in bleach water. To sterilize them a little. About five minutes in there and I'll rinse them out. Speaking of rinsed out, blankets out on the clothesline, hopefully drying. Ooh, looks good. I consolidated all the true Italian recipes that I got from my Italian teacher about 10 years ago. <laughs> Finally got around to doing it, hey? Why does it take me so long? I don't know. Then I got my phone plugged in. Gonna eat a couple of those little guys. And I'm gonna soak my feet and then I put this on this stuff is great I have an elbow that's always dry and flaky like but this works on it works on your elbow too I have a pan of cold water under the desk you'll see if you can tell when my foot actually goes in oh yeah I wish this physical ailment would go away. Then I could get more stuff done, dang it. I know it's an excuse, but I have to do stuff. And Mr. Beggar is over here on the floor. I gave him a whole tin of cat food, a little one, Fancy Feast. He inhaled it. Well, he pushed some of it off the plate onto the placemat. And then as he saw I wasn't doing what he wanted, I saw him eating the rest of it up. He's just going to have to wait until later when the sun starts to go down. I'll give him a little something and that'll be it. <sighs> Tomorrow's Sunday and I'm thinking I might have an antique sideshow for you. And I would like to work on some more of those, but we'll see with things around here. 
it's supposed to be in the hundreds this week. And that's why the waste connections, the uh, trash haulers called and said, we're making really, really early runs this week due to the heat. And I actually have stuff in the trash cans this week. The last two weeks I didn't have enough. This week I have enough. Whew, do you have enough? <laughs> Good, let's go upward and onward.